Hi, this is the Yixing E33. This is a good outdoor FPV quad. This is the review and the mods that I did. Here's the box that it came in. It's called the Vanguard. This is the quad the controller. It comes with a bag of goodies that it has. Uh, has a spare set of props, has a battery charger, has four uh, prop guards, and it also came with these four landing gear that I put on. You really don't need the landing gear. You can land on these pods here and uh, have it protected. It has three models. It has this base model, has a camera model, and they have a Wi-Fi model. Six, ax six axis gyro, which means it has auto stabilization. It comes with a, uh, a 380 milliamp battery. The specs say a 450, but it's really a 380. Uh, the charging time for this battery with that charger is going to be about 60 to 70 minutes. The flying time for this is about uh, six, 6 to 8 minutes, eight, 8 to 10 minutes, 6 minutes with this FPV setup uh, and this 380 milliamp battery. Uh, here's the controller. It has a push button on and off. These four buttons are the typical trims. These four are, uh, this is for your lights, and I think this one is the camera. Uh, it has two shoulder buttons. This button here is uh, for your rates. It has three rates. It has a low, medium, and high, and at the high rate, it has an insanely fast yaw rate, and it's a proportional yaw rate. It's like the H8 Mini, where uh, you give it some yaw, and it's proportion. You give it a little bit of yaw, it's just going to spin a little bit. You give it a lot of yaw, it's going to spin out, spin out of control. It's crazy fast. And also, what it has, these uh, pods light up. And when you're in high rate and you spin it fast, these spot pods start blinking. And it's really neat to spin it at night, and these pods start blinking. It kind of looks like a UFO spinning. Uh, a shoulder button here is for your uh, flips. You press it. And you can flip it in any four directions that you would like to flip it. Uh, the this, like I say, this is without the camera. The flying distance with this controller is about 80 meters. I tried to de try to, uh, to see if this will work with my Debo, see if it deviated, and I tried all the Ishing protocols, and I couldn't get any of them to bind. So right now it's not deviated. You need to fly it with this controller. Uh, the specs say 25 millimeters from motor to motor. The, the real spec that's important for size-wise is from motor to motor. This is a 170 milli, uh, millimeter uh, type quad, size quad. So it's in between a, a micro and a mini. It's not quite the size of a mini and it's much bigger than a micro quad. This is a copy of a popular Hubson model. Uh, the Hubson makes a uh, H501 and this is basically just a, a smaller version of that it's copied down the H501 has brushless motors the this has brush motors and they're gear driven it's a nice little flyer though it has real aggressive props on it and the yaw rate and the high rate is crazy uh, the transmitter is Mo2 it has a nice feature which I, I wish the other Ishing models before this had it has what they call, in their English isn't that great, they call it a stuck protection. And basically what it is, is if these props get caught up in something, the control board senses that and it will shut down the motor. And if the props are, are, are not spinning for a while, the actual control board itself shuts down entirely. The lights turn off, you need to reset it to reinitialize it. And uh, one of the nice things it has, it has an on-off switch here that you can... Uh, switch it on and off. It uh, has headless mode, which I never use. Uh, it has a one key return, which I never use. They're both really just gimmicks. Uh, it has six axis gyro, so it has auto stabilization. Six channel for the transmitter, which I wish it was deviated. The lights on it are pretty good. It's a pretty good night flyer. You can see it has these pods, and these pods light up very well at night. You can see them very well. And plus, with uh, the high rate and the crazy yaw that it has, and the lights flashing, it gives it a good special effect there. Uh, let's go and do some flight of this, and I'll show you that crazy yaw that it has. 
This is the outdoor review of the Yixing E33. I'm Carol McQuad. Flat level surface. Power on the transmitter. It's all bound and ready to go. Let me adjust my hack cam. There's about a 15 mile an hour wind today. This is rate one, which is the lowest rate. Here's the pitch. Here's the yaw. Fairly slow yaw. Here's rate two. Bring it down. Here's the pitch in rate two. Pretty good pitch. Bring it a little closer. Here's the yaw in rate two, fighting the wind. Whoa, fight that wind. Here's uh, rate three. Bring it a little closer. Here's the pitch. Oh, nice pitch. A good pitch. Fight the wind easily. Here's that crazy yaw. Bring it a little closer. Here's that crazy yaw. <laughs> you lose orientation. Yep, saved it. So it's flying all this with the TX02 and a uh, 150 milliamp battery on it. It's about 12 extra grams. I, I kept the legs there because what I, I want to show you is that you can mount a camera on the bottom. Uh, an 808 or even an F FPV all-in-one uh, camera. And if it has the capability of, of reversing the image so it's you know it's an upside down image you could mount it on the bottom and have it totally protected let's take another look at that crazy y'all wow here is it flying in ray two without the added 12 grams for the fpv camera and battery and it flies very well give it a little forward and bring it in a little closer Fighting that wind with no problem. What I want to do is show you uh, some night footage. Show you how those pods light up. It's a very good night flyer. Let me put it in rate three one last time. And show you that crazy y'all. <laughs> that is crazy. I'm giving it forward. Awful fast forward. With that crazy y'all. Here is the Yixing E33 flying at night. Let me power on my quad. Nice that it has a switch. Flat level surface. Let me power on my transmitter. Bind it. Go directly to rate two. And away we go. Let me adjust my hat cam. Keep it in frame. It's an excellent night flyer. Look at those lights. Those lights are excellent. Here's the yaw at Ray 2. Nice slow yaw. You can fly it very good in Ray 2. No problem flying it in Ray 2. Ray 3 gets a little crazy with the yaw rate. Let's bring it in close. And I'll switch it to Ray 3. We'll see what that yaw rate looks like at night. It also brings, blinks the lights 
uh, when you do the fast shot. Let's do the y'all. There it goes. Wow. He's super fast. Let's bring it in a little closer. It's proportional yaw. You just give it a little bit of yaw and it just spins a little fast. But if you give it real full full pitch, I mean full yaw, it just goes crazy. Let's go and look at the mods and the final score for this guy. One last thing that I want to show you is that I'm in rate 3. I want to show you, you can fly this thing in rate 3. Even though uh, it has that fast yaw, you can fly. You just give it a little bit of yaw. You don't have to uh, give it full yaw to do that crazy yaw. You just a little bit of yaw, and you can fly like you would normally. These, uh, these pods light up at night, and it gives you very good orientation. It's an excellent night flyer. Let's go and look at the mods. Uh, the first thing I tried to do was to deviate it to see if I could fly it with my Devo 7. And I tried all the protocols that are available for the Ishing, and none of them bound to this quadcopter. Uh, the mods that I made to it is that I always paint the battery connector. That way I can tell polarity. Uh, I mounted the TX02 and the 150 milliamp battery. Uh, I had to cut the door here on the bottom. This battery normally goes inside of this compartment. What I wanted to do was to bring out the power connection and bring the, the battery outside. That way it's just easier to mount. And with this rubber band here, it would constantly get in the way. So I brought this power uh, connector out. That way I can uh, take the, the uh, 380 milliamp battery and uh, just put it under these... Uh, these, these straps here, these straps that I use for uh, the rubber bands, rubber band straps. You could fly this with probably up to like a 600 milliamp battery, one cell battery. Uh, I had to, I, I always put my phone number on the quads that I fly outdoors just in case they fly away and somebody gets them and calls me and hopefully they'll return it. Uh, I fly it with these 380s. You can fly it with something bigger since this is mounted on the bottom with these rubber bands. You could fly it with up to 600 milliamp batteries. My final score for this guy, I like it. I I think it's a good little quad. It's the same size as my uh, Super S that I have. It's a, it's a little bit smaller than a 250 type quad. The same size as my Super S. And I like the way it flies. It's It's one of my best flyers. My final score for this is a 94. I'm taking 0.6 off because it's not deviated. If this was deviated, this would be a, a great little quadcopter. But since it's not deviated, I have to fly it with this controller. And uh, I'm taking 0.6 off because of that. Leave your comments and questions in the comments section below. And thanks for watching. Please click on the like button, comment, and subscribe.